Welcome to your astrology and spirituality overview for Saturday the 30th of January. Thanks so much for joining us today. Today we are using the Gaia Mother Earth Oracle cards. Oh, I'm really beginning to love these. The graphics yeah, are just fantastic, they've aren't they? They've got like the sacred flame heart on the front. and Which is oh, warming. Like, yeah. We have a, a real fire here and when that fire's lit, oh my word, it's just tremendous. It just... <sighs> I'm sure if you've got one as well, you could yeah. relate to this, that it just provides a sort of, almost like a spiritual warmth. Yeah, it's like the heartbeat of the house, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and, and we leave it in all night, and it burns very slowly, and it just takes the edge off, and it's a really comforting feeling. Beautiful. Well, oh, whoa. whoa, that's so pretty. So the card that comes up here, it's got a sun, and it says, Eternal love, happiness, harmony, fulfillment. Oh my word, so many things are flooding to my mind when I've just looked at this image because here you have this ribbon that's almost like intertwined. It also looks like a DNA strand and it's it's really making me think of this idea of eternal love. Now some of us will definitely believe that there is a life beyond this life that in some capacity or spirit that the essence of us lives on. A lot of scientific research is being done into consciousness now and the idea that we weigh just a little bit less after our death and that is said to be the, the weight of our soul that is potentially left. But I remember um, when my, my grandmother passed away and she sort of said to me, well, even if there isn't anything, you know, my life will live on through you, through your DNA. And that is so true. We are all um, a testament. I think we've said this before yeah. to, to people that have gone before, before us, this eternal love, these eternal strands that really tie us all in together. Mm. And it's something... Uh, really beautiful to, to behold really and something that we are all very very blessed with yeah I think that's lovely do you have any experience of people who've passed on that you had a particular relationship with them in this life and then when they've passed over you feel the connection changes um, my dad died when I was eight I felt that my dad was so sad uh, the circumstances around it and feeling that he let people down and so forth and so on. I, I really feel that my dad was sort of like in a very painful place for a long time. Now, weirdly, just before I actually physically met Elisa, but in the five months we'd worked together before we actually physically met, and of course we'd known each other for about three or four years before that in a very sort of cautious way, um, I just kept getting this feeling that my dad was sort of like, sort of going like this, yeah. so, sorry if I'm knocking the camera, but <laughs> just really sort of like rubbing his hands and, and really jolly for me. Mm. And then uh, sadly my sister died, my eldest sister died four years ago and I feel that um, she went through a, a very quick transition on the other side. And then uh, Elisa's dad died uh, just over two, two and a quarter years ago and he, he also had a very tough time in the way he passed over. And we could actually, I could psychically feel very strongly it was a, basically a chest issue. So it was a pneumonia issue, which was very serious. Mm -hmm. So I could feel that, that on the other side. But it, we're feeling that you're yeah, feeling Yeah, my dad's of... starting to um, come through a bit now because for yeah. the first sort of two years um, since it's happened, I haven't felt his presence at all, really. Yeah. And then lately, I feel that he's starting to sort of find his feet a little bit. So do you agree with that? You know, please share your experiences. Mm. That's just our personal experiences. The astrology today sees the moon make its way into Virgo. Uh, so the moon in Virgo. Wow. Are you someone who's meticulous about your home? Well, if you are, you've likely got the moon in Virgo or you've got the moon in the sixth house which in astrology is very much represented by Virgo energies. Or perhaps you've got the moon very close to Saturn, so you like things to be very organised and cool and uh, very running like a well-oiled machine. But for all of us, the moon being in Virgo gives us an opportunity to get a little bit uh, more together on the home front. It could be decluttering, it could be dusting, it could be making sure a trusted domestic appliance gets a service or we change the the vacuum cleaner bag, um, get a new mop for the kitchen, that kind of stuff. So very virtuous in a practical way over the next couple of days. It also is an opportunity to think about how the um, 
structure of our life and the organisation of our life makes us feel in, in more of an emotional sense because that's what the moon represents. So if you're someone who's incredibly laid back around your home, which we are, um, we do know that when we clear rooms up, it does actually release energy and we do feel better for it, even though it's not really our thing. So Virgo, from a more emotional viewpoint, could be a time to sort of think uh, about our uh, welfare, our physical welfare as well. You know, are we happy with all our routines? Are we being quite as careful about what we're eating and drinking? Virgo is, is very good for purity. So if we can drill down into, you know, looking at food packets and seeing what those naughty sugars are, those, those naughty salts and fats, and see if we can make some improvements there. Or even better still, uh, cook some stuff from home, a homemade soup or a stew or some cakes or some jam. This kind of stuff is all lovely for the moon in Virgo. So it's been so lovely being with you. So Elisa's card is very much about... Yeah, that eternal love and just knowing that we're part of something um, much, much bigger. Than that, just ourselves. That's that's lovely, and it's been an honour to be with you. Please, uh, if you've yet to become a subscriber, we'd love it if you tap or click on the bell notification symbol, and please check out your free daily horoscope beneath this video. But for now, from the A group, it's goodbye from him, and it's goodbye from Elisa. Goodbye. goodbye.